Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls in what may be the final episode uh, for this particular cycle. Um, so I did want to do one thing before we head below and uh, open up the way to the Kiln of the First Flame. Uh, we actually still have a Firekeeper soul left over. The soul of a daughter of chaos, Firekeeper of Quelag's domain. A firekeeper's soul is a draw for humanity and held within their bosoms. Below just a thin layer of skin are swarms of humanity that writhe and squirm. To her, the countless eggs which appeared were uh, the countless eggs which appeared were cradles for each tiny humanity. Okay, I was mentioning that um, I wasn't sure, but I thought that there was something relating her eggs to the humanity that she held and. I guess that's your little connection there, is that what she thought were eggs were holding fragments of humanity within themselves, so. Let's reinforce our Estus Flask for the final time. There you go, so we got up to plus six. Forgive me. She has nothing new to say. She just, she wishes not to speak, so. Um, you can get seven Firekeeper Souls in a single run, which we did do. The reason we don't have a plus seven Estus flask, which is as high as you can upgrade it, is because one of those souls is Anastasia's soul. Um, if you uh, if you use that, you essentially um, are giving up the use of the Firelink Shrine bonfire for the remainder of whatever given playthrough that's on. So it's really not recommended to use her soul. It's it's better to. Uh, it's better to keep her alive at the very least if you don't leave any of the other firekeepers alive. And, uh, yeah, so we got Estus Flask plus six. You can have plus seven by the end of your first new game, but, um, it's, it's a little difficult if you do that because then it makes traversing a little, uh, inconvenient. So, last episode, I mentioned at one point I thought that you could not kill Rickert of Vinheim, but... I proved myself wrong on that one with Wrath of the Gods, so I want to try the same thing now with Anastasia. We'll see what happens. As you see here, she's pretty much impervious. We cannot get through that cage, so just wanted to confirm that. And um, I think this is the last we're going to see of uh, Firelink Shrine, so let's take one last good look at it. It's a beautiful place. But, um, sadly, with all that's been going on the last couple episodes, it feels quite empty. It's making me a little sad. Alright, well, this is it. I'm getting to the end. And Fromp is sleeping on the job. No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Well and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. Sure, sure. Alright. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Well, we got our uh, last Lord Soul to give, so... The beings who possess these souls have outlived their usefulness. Yep. So, let's warp. Very well. Then, stay still for a moment. I don't recall Fromte's new dialogue after we put in the final Lord Soul, but we'll find out soon enough. Or if he just warps away, I'm not really sure what he does, but we'll see here. The final soul. Here we go.
That's it. The doorway is opened. Let's see what Fromt has to say before we enter. Ah. Oh. The Lord Vessel is satiated. Magnificent. You are the righteous successor to Gwyn. The new great lord. And I am King Seeker no more. Your acquaintance was an honor. I must admit, I am fond of you humans. May you enjoy serendipity. And may the Age of Fire perpetuate. Yeah. Not buying your crap, Serpent. I'm not even sure if this is gonna do enough damage to piss him off. <laughs> you sorry, fool. You could not be the chosen one. Enough. I shall slumber. I am awakened again. Whoop! <laughs> well, Fromp is gone. We ticked him off. Just uh, one too many emit forces for him to deal with. So yeah, that is a thing you can do. Just piss Fromp off to that point. So, all right, let's make the descent. This is one of my favorite areas in the game. Uh. For your uh, knowledge and your health, you can actually just send yourself sailing off of the stairway, I'm pretty sure, and die from falling uh, into a bottomless pit of pure light. Now what I love so much about this area is that you can see the souls of the Knights of Gwyn who are lost here in the kiln, drifting through. It's just one of these really kind of beautifully put together areas, and you can even hear this very subtle, um, not even music, but just this sound. It's really uh, peaceful. And it's a fitting preface to the area we're coming into now. This is it. This is what we've been working towards the whole game, and we're finally here. <sighs> All the trials and tribulations have led up to this. Our final... Our final uh, jaunt... to the kiln, and to succeed Lord Gwyn. This is a bit of a uh, popular PvP area, so I would not be surprised if we got invaded, but hopefully we can focus on the area at hand first, and then uh, maybe do some of that later. You know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much I want to drag out the rest of the playthrough, because this is really the last place we have to be. Ah, sweet. Black Knight Shield. Okay. I'm going to say this. As much as the Silver Knight Shield is very nice with its stability, I may opt out of it for the Black Knight Shield solely because if you see there, 75 versus 95 fire damage reduction. This thing is incredible for the final boss fight. Uh, it's infinitely useful, and um, I mean, I think that explains it all right there. We're going to be dealing with some fire. Um, being the Lord of Sunlight, you'd be surprised. You'd think he would be pelting you with... Uh, Sunlight Spear, something like that, dealing a lot of uh, electricity and divine type damage, but he's he's a little more geared towards the uh, a little more geared towards the uh, fire. You could say he's not quite the Lord of Sunlight he once was. He's become something a little different. He's he's faded. You could even say he's hollowed, which is interesting to think of a god that um, maybe they're not that different from from mankind, but just like us, they can hollow. But uh, we'll see that very soon. And yeah, I might, I might hang out in the area a little bit, but I'm not sure. 
We can we can do a few runs through this area just so I can get all of the Black Knight weapon drops. But uh, we'll see how it happens. There you go. Want another one? Okay. There you go. Yep, so this is the one area where the Black Knights will actually respawn. Speaking of the Black Knights, we actually get the Black Knight set right here, right in Endgame. So if we check this out, Helm of the Black Knights who haunt Lord Ren. The knights followed Lord Gwyn when he departed to link the fire, but they were burned to ashes in the newly kindled flame, wandering the world as disembodied spirits ever after. And if you put on the full set here, you see, it's quite a nice set. One of the more trademark sets of the game alongside uh, the um, Elite Knight set, what I would say is the other one. But this, this was used in a lot of promotional art, and uh, with good reason. It's one of the cooler looking uh, armor sets in the game. And probably, I mean, some of the biggest changes from the Silver Knight set, the... The horns, I think, on the other one are not nearly as pronounced. I think they might have even been more feather-shaped. I'm not sure. I, I don't have the uh, the actual set with me to reference, but I think it's something of that sort going on. So, now let me see that I have everything I need here. Might not want to go with the dark wood grain ring with what I've got going on. Um, Actually, that's that's one thing. The Black Knight shield is just a tiny bit uh, more or heavier than the Silver Knight shield. Oh, what's this? Knight Solaire comes to join us one last time for this final battle. Wouldn't be the same without the old son, bro. So let's bring him in, have him uh, help us out with this. We'll see what happens. He'll help us out as much as he can, but... Yeah. I'm a little concerned, though. I would like to see if I can get myself fast rolling before we enter, but... This guy is nasty. He's quite dangerous as the Black Knights go. Oh, look at that damage. Yep. <laughs> so Lair's got the right idea, but the wrong timing, I'd say. And right there we get the Black Knight Great Axe. One of the best Black Knight weapons, if you ask me. Um, a lot of people like to use this thing. You see, Great Axe of the Black Knights who wander Lord Ran used to face Chaos Demons. The large motion that puts the weight of the body into the attack reflects the great size of their adversaries long ago. So you need quite a bit of uh, dexterity to use it as well. For balance builds, that thing's really, really nice. Okay. Oops. I am so off on my parry timing. There you go. Another halberd knight, but we did not manage to get his halberd, so... I think that's the only one we haven't gotten, is the halberd weapon. It's not a big deal, though. Okay. Coming up to the final fog door. We're not going to traverse the white light quite yet. I just want to check. I would really prefer, if I could, to fast roll. But it may not happen. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen with this stuff. Hmm. Alright. No big deal. We'll just stick with what we've got, and uh, that'll be that. Let's get the dark hand back on. Alright, are you ready, Solar? You look like you're hurting a little bit, but... Let's get this done. Let's face... Gwyn, the Lord of Cinder.
And with that, our final decision comes into play. There's one thing left to do. Do we coddle the Age of Fire? Extend it and stand for all that all of these figures throughout history have martyred themselves to protect? Or do we continue on with the Age of Darkness and the Age of Man? For the purposes of this first playthrough, we're gonna link the flames, but we'll see the alternative within the next few episodes in my New Game Plus content go over, so. Sunlight for life!
Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Welcome to New Game Plus. Yep, you thought it was over, but here it is. A brand new Lord Ran. Everyone's back. Everyone we killed. It's all started over again. Another cycle. Another chance to do things differently and show off some things maybe we missed. So, first order of business, let's go kill the Asylum Demon. But yeah, that ending um, really exemplifies, I mean, it, it's all on how you look at it. You could look at it as coddling the Age of Fire, you could look at it as standing among those who've sacrificed themselves before you. It's either, you know, depending on your viewpoint entirely, a very good or a very bad ending. There is no real, true, good or bad ending in this game, and that's what I love so much about them, is they make you think, and it's more, it's more a matter of, um how you interpret the story rather than how the game wants you to interpret it. It puts these things before you and, uh, you know, lets you make with it what you will. Now I'm gonna make with the Asylum Demon a big heapin' helpin' of death. There you go. Welcome to New Game Plus. It's not going to stay that easy. <laughs> but as you see there, we got the Demon's Great Hammer. We got one before from Snugly trading with her, but uh, that's the legitimate way to do it. Kill him on your first go around and get this big hulk of uh, beauty. So I'm going to end the episode off. We have successfully given Lord Gwyn rest. Lord of Cinder, no longer Lord of Sunlight. He essentially hollowed as much as a god can. He gave himself entirely to extend the Age of Fire, and we followed in his footsteps. Um, personally, I'm not a huge fan of that. I see why it could be seen as a very noble act, but, you know, I have my own preferences, so we'll be showing that off come this the uh, upcoming parts of this playthrough, so I'll shut up now, I'll end the video off, and uh, there you have it. Thank you for watching everyone, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you've been enjoying the Let's Play, and will continue to for as long as it happens to run beyond this point. Um, it's going to be a lot more uh, scattered, so a lot of smaller clips. I might do them as separate uploads, I might do them as compilations of different things that I wanted to show off but wasn't able to. We'll, we'll play it uh, as we see it as as we move forward, so, yeah, alright, take care.